Hello everyone welcome back to Shahi Comics, an Asaka episode 4 is absolutely packed with Star Wars easter eggs and references and some tremendous deep cuts in the franchise's lore, and warning this video contains some major spoilers for Asaka episode 4, an Asaka episode 4 is absolutely packed with Star Wars easter eggs and references, viewers had been promised some major twists and turns in Asaka episode 4, and it really didn't disappoint. The episode features multiple duels Asaka takes on Marok, Sabine has a rematch with Shin, and it all ends in a fateful final confrontation with Balin at the Hunch. The stakes couldn't be higher, because Asaka knows Grand Admiral Thrawn's return will mean an Imperial resurgence, and this isn't just an action-packed episode, though there are also some stunning character moments, and the final scenes feature a twist that will leave viewers on the edge of their seats, unfortunately. It will be a week before Episode 5 releases which will be directed by Dave Filoni himself. For now, though, here are all the important Star Wars Easter eggs and references in Asaka Episode 4. And the New Republic's iconic X-Wings. And Asaka Episode 4 sees here Sintella go rogue, disobeying orders and jetting off in the ghost. She's not alone, either. She's accompanied by a flight of X-Wings, led by Paul Sun Hyung Lee's car Sinteva. He was last seen in The Mandalorian Season 3, when he tried to warn the Empire about the threat of a resurgent Empire. As cool as this particular Star Wars Easter egg may be, it doesn't quite make sense. Asaka is supposed to be concurrent with The Mandalorian Season 3, so he should really have mentioned the giant hyperspace ring he saw jetting off at some point. Best to just enjoy the cameo and not overthink it. And Hera is Phoenix leader and Phoenix Squadron flew alongside the crew of the Ghost in Star Wars Rebels. As they depart home one, Carson Tava reveals Phoenix leader is here Sindela's call sign at this point in the Star Wars timeline. It's nice to see the heritage and history acknowledged and it also seems quite symbolic. In the real world, the Phoenix is a symbol of death and rebirth, one of the major themes of Asaka. And the void between the galaxies. And it seems a single error in Morgan's calculations could lead to the Eye of Shin becoming stranded in the Void. The idea of a void between the galaxies was established in Legends, and navigating in the Void is indeed extremely hazardous. Morgan's pathway to per idea is a high-risk endeavor. And Marok's true nature revealed. And there has been intense speculation about Marok's true identity and his nature is finally revealed when Asaka kills him. His death is accompanied by a blast of green nature, strongly suggesting he's an eyed brother from Dithalmir, whose body has been reanimated probably by Morgan Elsbeth, the eyed sister of Dithalmir. No doubt many viewers will be disappointed that their theories have proven incorrect, but this does fit logically with the story. And Balin uses Force Empathy to manipulate Sabine. And Balin is clearly using the Force to manipulate Sabine. This is no Jedi mind trick Sabine is too strong-willed to fall for that, instead, he's using the power of empathy to sense her emotions and choose his words with care, it's fascinating to see such a subtle use of the Force, one that plays upon Sabine's grief, loss, and trauma, and Sabine's family D during the fall of Mandalor. An Asaka episode 4 reveals Sabine's family die during the purge of Mandalor. Star Wars is carefully avoiding telling this story, which is only becoming more intriguing as further hints are dropped. Balin hints Sabine was already training under Asaka at the time of the fall of Mandalor. Curiously, his words suggest he senses some resentment within Sabine that she warned Asaka, but that her master chose not to intervene. And Shin uses Force Choke on Sabine. And Shin defaults to a very familiar Force power when she turns her rage on Sabine. She uses Darth Vader's signature force choke on Sabine, clearly planning to kill her. It's a mark of Balin's darkness that he tells Shin not to simply because he's given his word, not because he's concerned about the dark side. And the hyperspace jump is a nod to Star Wars The Last Jedi. And the eye of Shin jumps to hyperspace, accelerating with phenomenal speed. The wave of energy that rocks the ghost and the X-Wings is reminiscent of Star Wars The Last Jedi. But here and two of the pilots survive because there is a massive gap in the ring. It's a hint that hyperspace could be we opponized an idea ultimately proved with the Holdo maneuver. And Asaka is in the world between worlds. And Asaka awakens in the world between worlds, 
a mysterious realm introduced in Star Wars Rebels that transcends time and space. This initially seemed to be Star Wars' version of time travel, but recent books have hinted there is a lot more to it than that it's been described as a netherworld of the Force. This usually refers to the various afterlifes in the Force, which makes it most curious. If this is indeed a netherworld of the Force, then it's a hint Asaka has indeed been killed. And Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost returns in Asaka. And supporting the theory the world between worlds is a netherworld of the Force, Asaka is greeted by what seems to be the Force Ghost of Anakin Skywalker with a de-aged Hayden Christensen playing Anakin once again. Curiously, this vision of Anakin is dressed not in the master's robes he wore when he appeared at the end of Return of the Jedi, but in the clothing Asaka would remember him wearing. Anakin addresses her as Snips, a familiar nickname he gave Asaka when he mentored her during the Clone Wars. An Asaka episode 4 ends with the Darth Vader theme. An Asaka is understandably astounded to see her former master, not least because she just refused to take the opportunity to talk about him. But Asaka episode 4 comes to a dramatic conclusion when the screen fades out, and viewers hear the sound of the Darth Vader theme, while this may be added simply for effect, it's rather odd this is after Anakin Skywalker's redemption, meaning he shouldn't be associated with that theme at all. It's possible this final Asaka Easter egg is a subtle hint that all is not well in this mysterious vision. And we're in the end of the video now, and another awesome video I will meet you again. Bye guys have a good day.